Hi Taurus and welcome to your reading. So this reading is meant for any time that you stumble across this video. Um, I am recording this in August and it's intended for the last week of August, but if you're watching this at a later date, you were meant to see this. I do read reversals and I'm still fairly new at tarot. Um, I've taken a couple of courses. I do have a website down below if you want to check out my website and I do offer personalized readings right now. Um, at the moment, I'm only offering email readings. Um, eventually, I will open it up to video readings. So I'm going to go ahead and start off by cleansing the area. The first question I want to ask is who is headed towards you, Taurus? So we're going to go ahead and ask the tarot that question. Get some more sage smoke. Who is coming towards Taurus, spirit? Please tell us about the person that is coming towards Taurus. For this last week of August or any time that they're watching this video, who is coming towards Taurus? coming towards Taurus, please, Spirit. Two of Swords, Nine of Cups, Three of Swords. Okay, so I'm not sure if this is a fairly recent relationship that has ended. And I'm only saying that because we have the three of swords, which typically that is um, the sign of a breakup, heartache, um, broken heart and this person has had to make some kind of decision some kind of choice we're going to clarify this because I don't know what that means um, or why there would be the nine of cups which means content um, wish fulfilled my guess from this is that this person, this person that is coming towards you um, knows that they have to make some kind of decision. They do believe that you are their wish fulfilled, that you are the one that they are content with. You're the one they want to be with. Um, so if they are making some kind of decision, maybe uh, they were working too much maybe there was a third party, maybe there was family influence, something. They've had to make some kind of decision and they're choosing happiness, their own personal happiness, their wish fulfilled. And I believe that this is with you. And um, they are missing you. They're still trying to grieve over the loss of you, the loss of the relationship with this three of swords here. So let's clarify what the Two of Swords is. Spirit. Oh, look at that. So we had the lovers jump out. I'm going to take it. We also have the Judgment card in reverse. 
So I'm also going to take that and we're just going to pull one more card. Clarify the two of swords, please, spirit. Why the two of swords? Why the two of swords for Taurus? Okay, so one more card, and that is the Eight of Swords in reverse. So I'll start with this one. Um, actually, I believe that these two are going to go together. So we have the Judgment card, and we have the Eight of Swords. Now the Judgment card in reverse, this means that... Um, I think this person thinks that they blew it. I think they think that they made a bad choice. They made a bad decision in the past. They let you go. Um, and now there's regret. The Eight of Swords. So normally this would mean um, someone that is has made their own prison. They feel bound, um, restricted. Um, since it's in the reverse position, this person no longer feels restricted. And maybe they were just restricted by their own fears, their own thinking, um, limited beliefs about love, about you, Taurus. Um, so they no longer feel bound by those limited beliefs, thinking. They've broken away from that, or broken away from it, rather. Um, but definitely they have made some sort of bad decision, bad judgment in the past. And um, maybe that's what this card right here, the Eight of Swords in reverse means that maybe they have broken away, like they've forgiven themselves for making this bad choice, bad judgment. Um, but they're hoping that you, Taurus, will forgive them for making a bad decision. Now the lovers upright, this is a twin flame. For me, this would be a twin flame card. Um, whether you believe in twin flames or not, this person is your soulmate, your twin flame. What this may also mean, since this was a clarifier for the two of swords, is that there could have been a third party. And I say could have, because I believe that this person has made a decision and either they have already started to move away from the third party or um, they are about to. They've, they've made up their mind that they want you and they're going to leave this behind. Let's clarify the Three of Swords. Spirit, please tell me about the Three of Swords. Tell me about the Three of Swords. Why the Three of Swords? Why the Three of Swords, Spirit? Why the Three of Swords? So you have the King of Wands in reverse, the Hierophant and the emperor. So you could definitely be dealing with an Aries. Um, or Taurus, <laughs> another Taurus. Um, you also could be dealing with a Gemini from the lover's card, the twin flame card. Um, or it could be a fire sign with the king of wands in reverse. So the king of wands in reverse. Now, normally this king of wands upright is the ideal partner that we would like, or one of the ideal partners that he's filled with a lot of passion. Um, there's a lot of action from him. Um, in the reverse, he could be a little bossy, um, ego centered, doesn't quite take ownership for his own shortcomings. Um, and I'm thinking that 
with this three of swords that maybe it was a lot of his ego is the reason why the relationship had ended. I mean, I'm not sure. Like maybe there was another third party. I don't know. But um, I'm just getting the sense that maybe it was his, the qualities that he holds, or at least during the time of the relationship ending, he was uh, very egotistical, um, selfish, basically. So the Hierophant, um, this, this person of yours, Taurus, this person wants a relationship. So even though the relationship ended, they want a traditional relationship with you. Uh, I'm not sure what the basis of the relationship before, if it was a romantic relationship, full-blown romantic committed relationship, or if it was maybe a friends with benefits type of ordeal. Um, but this person definitely wants a traditional relationship with you now. The emperor. Um, so this person, either he sees you as stable or he believes, or he or she now believes that they are stable, um, that they are in balance of their emotions. I just get stable. That's like the big one that this person thinks that either you're stable or they are stable. Um, and they think that they can give you a traditional relationship. Maybe they couldn't do it before. Um, maybe there were obstacles in the way before, but now presently this person thinks that they can give you a stable relationship. Um, so let's go ahead and ask, let's ask what Taurus's person's thoughts and feelings are towards them. Spirit, please tell us the thoughts and feelings of Taurus's person. Please tell us the thoughts and feelings of Taurus's person. What are the thoughts and feelings of Taurus's person? Thoughts and feelings of Taurus's person, please. Five of Wands, Two of Wands, Three of Pentacles. This person no longer wants to fight. I think there's been a lot of arguments in the past, probably due to his King of Wands or she due to their king of wands energy, um, in the reverse. So there's been a lot of conflicts, um, opposition, um, not working together. Like you're on different pages. Um, so even though this person knows that maybe you're on different pages, this person wants to work together with you as a team. They want to spend quality time with you. Um, they want unity. So they want to stop all this that happened in the past and they want you to be a team. Now the two of wands in reverse. This could have been a third party, but this person has made they have made a decision. They had made a decision if there was a third party and they chose you. So the thoughts and feelings are still that they are choosing you. Um, this person may feel a little stuck. Like they don't know what to do now. Like they've already made a decision to choose you. Um, either, like I said, they haven't actually left the third party. Um, they're, they've made the decision that they want out, but maybe they haven't completely cut ties with the third party. Maybe they're still living with them. And again, if this doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. And you just take what, what does resonate. 
Um, but I think this person feels like, okay, I've chosen Taurus. I want Taurus. But how do I prove or how do I come back to Taurus now? Let's clarify the two of wands here. Spirit, why the two of wands for Taurus? Why the two of wands in reverse? Please tell me more about the two of wands in reverse. Tell me more about the two of wands in reverse, please. The two of wands in reverse. Why the two of wands in reverse? We have ooh, two of cups in reverse, two of pentacles in reverse, and a star in reverse. This is interesting because I still believe that this person wants a traditional relationship with you. But two of cups reversed. Again, this means to me that there was a third party influence. There's someone else interfering with the relationship. Again, this doesn't necessarily mean that it's a romantic person involved. It could be a family member. It could be a friend. It could be work. Um, but I'm getting a lot of that in this reading that there was a third party involved somehow. Their intentions, again, is to remove this third party. And again, so this is the two of pentacles in reverse. So if it was upright, it would mean that this person is still trying to make a decision. This person has made a decision. It's done. They have made the decision to move away from this third party or stand up for themselves if it's a family member or whatever. They've already made the decision. I think it's just a slow process. This is not going to be something quick that they're going to move away from. Maybe there's a lot of finances involved. Um, maybe they owe money. Um, they feel bad for leaving the person because they'll have too much to take on with, you know, the living arrangements, the bills or whatever. Um, so, but this person has made a decision. <clears throat> The star reversed. I think this is your person. I think your person feels like he or she has lost hope. Like they're thinking, I've made this decision. I don't want the third party. I'm, I'm going to rule out this third party. This third party is not going to be involved in my decisions, in my love life anymore. But... I hurt Taurus, even though I know that Taurus is what I want. I'm content when I'm with Taurus. I'm losing hope. I'm losing hope that Taurus and I can work things out. Let's clarify. Let's clarify the two of cups in reverse. Spirit, why the two of cups in reverse, please? Why the two of cups in reverse? I have the king of swords. Let me some of these cards out of the way oh let me straighten up a little bit here sorry getting all the cards straightened up here okay and then we just drew you three one two and three okay so I was trying to clarify the two of cups. And so now I have pulled 
the King of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the Nine of Swords in reverse. So this person has, um, they're facing their fears. So whatever was holding them back from, um, you know, making this decision with a third party, um, they're facing their fears and they're, they've decided, you know, that's it. I don't care. I want Taurus. I don't care what, what the consequences are. Um, you know, they're, they're over the sleepless nights, you know, worrying about this decision to leave the third party and they're, they're facing the consequences, whatever they are. So the other thing here is the five of swords and <clears throat> this is an unfair battle. Um, this person maybe played mind games with you. Um, maybe kind of did some hot and cold behavior in order to get you to reach out to them, chase them, um, kind of like to build up their own ego. But um, they do have this King of Swords energy or they think that you have the King of Swords energy, which means that this person, they're using their, their mind over like heart, like logically they're thinking that, um, this would be a good match. You, you and you Taurus and your person are a good match and that you'll work things through, that you'll have open and honest communication, um, that you will be over, you'll be able to overlook things of the past. Um, this person's very optimistic. Um, they feel like they're very in charge, um, not controlling. Um, they maybe they're like past version before the breakup, they were very controlling, but now they seem to be a little bit more open. Okay, so now let's ask. I'm going to go ahead and move to a new deck. Um, I'm going to use this one. Okay, so now let's go ahead and ask what the next actions of your person are going to be. Spirit, please tell us the next actions of Taurus's person. Please tell us what sort of actions Taurus's person is going to take now. Ten of Pentacles. I'm going to put it back in. What sort of action? Ah. Too much. What sort of actions is Taurus's person going to take towards them now? Can you please tell us the actions of Taurus's person in the near future? So we have the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. Sorry, I don't mean to touch the screen. And the Two of Wands reversed. So these are the actions. So I think right now, this person, they're lacking motivation to do anything, to take any steps right now. So for the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, this person is lacking motivation, ambition, but they do feel that they're, that they're a practical partner, that they're sensible, um, 
Maybe they're a little bit focused on work right now. But they're not gonna take they're not gonna take any risk. They're avoiding any risk and they're not gonna take any action towards you right now, towards at least in the near future. Um, when I say near near future, I'm talking like the next four to six weeks. So I wouldn't expect any movement um, as far as like moving towards a relationship. Like you might have contact or something, but I don't think that this is going to evolve into a relationship in the next four to six weeks. But let's go ahead and clarify this eight of pentacles. <clears throat> Why the eight of pentacles, please, spirit? Why the eight of pentacles? Why the eight of pentacles, please? Why the eight of pentacles? Okay, so that's interesting, the nine of cups. So the nine of cups, we already were met with this card right here, where this person thinks that you're their wish fulfilled, they're content, their life is a, is a success. <laughs> it doesn't really make sense to me why they're not going to take any action right now, other than they're just lazy. Your person is lazy, Taurus. Okay, so let's get some more clarifiers on why the Eight of Pentacles. Why is this person lazy? Why is this person so lazy, Spirit? Tell us why Taurus's person is so lazy. Oh, okay, well, you got the King of Pentacles now that jumped out. So this is, I already told you up here with the lovers that this is a twin flame connection. Whenever I get a king and queen of the same suit, so king of pentacles and queen of pentacles, that to me is twin flame soulmate energy. So that's just confirmation if you're wondering about your person that they are your twin flame soulmate. If you don't believe in twin flames, then they're your soulmate. And um, this person could be, like I said, Aries is showing up here a few times. Um, also, Taurus is here a few times. Um, it could be a, I think it's Virgo, Virgo, Sagittarius, and a Pisces. But definitely a lot of... Um, a lot of the Aries and Taurus energy. Oh, and the Gemini for the lovers. Oh, I need one more card for the Eight of Pentacles and I'll kind of explain that. So Eight of Pentacles on why this person being so lazy. Okay, so we already got the Nine of Cups again, which is about wish fulfilled, abundant success. So this person already feels like their life is in a good place as far as like income, um, job, career, they feel like they have it. Um, I, I want to say that this person is very confident. And I think the King of Pentacles would back that up too. So the King of Pentacles, this person is very business minded. He's very driven. He's protective. He's sensual. Um, Long-term security. I wish you guys could see this. Um, so this is a Saint Saint Soleil, Soleil, Sol, Soleil, I think it's pronounced Soleil, Saint Soleil um, tarot card deck. And there's keywords and stuff on there. And there's also like the symbols for astrology. Um, if any of you guys watch the history, their history channel, the Vikings, oh my God, I love that show. But this King of Pentacles, if you could see his face, I'm going to bump the camera here just to focus on his face. This king looks like Ragnar from the Vikings, like the actor. <laughs> Anyhow, so um, anyway, so so this person, he's very business minded, he's thinking about long term security. He feels that he is successful, that he has an abundance. He's sensual, protective. Um, and then we have the six, six of pentacles. Again, this tells me that this person has the the material he's, he's, um, successful materialistic wise so that he has the option to give back. Like he can give back to people. He remembers 
or she remembers where they came from, where they started from, but now they're very generous. Um, so they're very generous with their income. This still does not make sense to me on the Eight of Pentacles, why they're being lazy or no motivation. Maybe this person didn't have to work for their money, even though they do feel like they're very business minded. Maybe they have inherited, perhaps inherited some money from their or their family is very wealthy and um, they don't really have to do much. So this person could be, maybe this person is just kind of lazy in that aspect and doesn't really know what it means to have to work hard. So this person doesn't want to put a lot of effort towards you, even though they want you and they know that they can be content with you. Um, they don't want to put a lot of effort in. Oh, the, this is the actions. That's right. So the actions, again, I don't know why they're being so lazy, but... They have money. They're very generous. They feel like they're success, have an abundance of wealth. So I think this person is very wealthy. Maybe, like I said, they come from a wealthy family. Um, good business sense. Again, this just reminds me. Um, they feel they're both the king and queen of pentacles. They're very successful, but they're not going to take any action. So let's ask why the two of wands, because I know it's kind of confusing here. With the eight of pentacles that this person just doesn't want to work for it but let's find out why they're afraid to why they're playing it safe why they're afraid to take a risk with you taurus why the two of wands spirit please tell us why the two of wands why the two of wands please why the two of wands why the two of wands Oop. okay so oh my gosh i'm not gonna believe this the lovers jumped out again. That's not confirmation that your twin flames are soulmates. It's been confirmed in this reading three times now. I don't know what to tell you, but there it is. So again, this could be a Gemini that you're dealing with. Um, yeah, there's a deep soul connection. And then this one jumped out, which is the three of pentacles. Three of Pentacles was in here again, guys. This is so amazing. Spirit is like bringing up the same exact cards. So remember how I told you earlier that your person wants to work as a team now. They want to work something out with you. Um, they don't want to fight anymore. They want to spend quality time. Well, here you have it again in the Two of Wands reverse clarification. We have Three of Pentacles again. Um, so yeah, it's teamwork, uh, shared goals, working together okay and then we need one more for the two of wands clarification oh okay this is interesting we have the eight ace of cups reversed so ace of cups upright is the ideal card that's like the number one romance card that you want which means new beginnings um, a new beginning for love like starting over with love so even though this person has a lot of wealth I'm thinking this doesn't resonate for everybody, but for someone's person, they have a lot of wealth and they think they're content. They know that they're missing love in their life. They, um, I think they tried with a third party. It didn't work out. Um, it's made them feel empty inside. I think they, they're still grieving you. And this also means emotional loss. So I think this person is still not over you. They're still hurting a lot. Um, and that's why they want another chance with you. So at the moment, you know, for their actions, because they feel emotional loss, they're kind of like down in the dumps. That's the reason why they're avoiding risk. That's why they're not taking any action towards you right now. Um, let's see what the potential outcome for this will be. Potential outcome, I would say, I, d I don't want to like predict the future, but let's just say that as things are headed right now, what direction are things headed for a potential outcome? Can you please tell us about this connection with Taurus and their soulmate, Twin Flame? Can you please tell us a potential outcome 
for Taurus's soulmate with this person. We have the nine of pentacles in reverse. We have the Ten of Wands in reverse. And we have the Seven of Wands in reverse. Interesting. So remember earlier how I was saying that this person may have just inherited a lot of money, but they're very business minded. Um, I don't think that's the case anymore. I because this is kind of clarifying it. I don't think that this person came from a lot of money. I think they've worked hard for a lot of money because um, this person is a workaholic. They're all about the hustle and grind. Um, they are very jealous. Um, even though they have a lot of money, I think they're spending a lot of money too because that's what this uh, nine of pentacles reverse means like excessive spending. And um, maybe they're they're being a little bit too generous with their money, but they're also spending it too much. Um, Ten of Wands reverse. So this person is taking a little break right now. Um, perhaps they took on too much before, and they're just stepping back to take a little break. And that's that could be another reason why there's no action towards you at least in the next four to six weeks, is they're just taking a break. They just need some kind of emotional break um, just to like rejuvenate or something. Yep, here it is again. Seven of Wands, exhaustion, giving up. They feel overwhelmed, weak boundaries. They feel like giving up. Now we need to ask for some more clarification because it's not really telling us what to expect for the future potential because I come from the belief where I personally believe that that twin flames belong together that somehow they're going to come back together yes I know there are like two sides of this where some people believe that twin not every twin flame is meant to be together in union um, I personally believe that yes the twin flames belong in union and that it'll work out um, but I'm not really seeing that here from future potential. I just see that over the next couple of weeks, this person is still going to be very quiet. I don't think there's a lot of communication going on with them right now. And I say that because there's not really a lot of swords indicating that there's communication. There's not even really like the eight of wands and stuff that I would see for communication. So let's clarify. Uh, I want to clarify this ten of wands. Like, why does this person feel like they need to take a break? Let's clarify the Ten of Wands, please. Spirit, why the Ten of Wands? Why the Ten of Wands? Why the Ten of Wands, please, in reverse? Why the Ten of Wands in reverse, please, Spirit? Eight of Cups. And let's move these cards up more. Eight of Cups. Queen of Swords reversed. Nine of Wands upright. So when asking why the Ten of Wands, why this person is taking a break, um, we have the Eight of Cups. We have the Queen of Swords. Um, reversed. And the Nine of Wands. So Eight of Cups, if you could see this picture, there's somebody walking away from the cups. They're, they've turned away from something.
I still think this means that this person has walked away from the third party. That's what I'm getting. Um, is that they were unfulfilled in that situation. They know that they feel their wishes are fulfilled when they're with you, which is why the nine of cups showed up twice in this reading. Um, so this person could just need a break from re from ending this relationship, from walking away, that this person knows that they need time to grieve. And it's possible that the current... Um, It's possible that this current three of swords here may not necessarily be the pain from you. It might be the pain from this other third party that they were with. So they, they just need a little time. It's kind of like when you know when you've ended something with someone, you know that you need some healing before you can move on to someone else. So even though I believe that this person does want to try with you again, they're recognizing that they need to heal themselves. So the Queen of Swords in reverse. This person may be coming off cold to you, towards you. Cruel. You might think that they're being cruel. I think it's a mechanism. I think they're like a coping mechanism. They're pushing you away because they know, deep down this person knows that you love them. How can you not know that with a twin flame? You know that there's deep, unconditional love. So this person has no doubts that you love them. But I think they may be coming off cold to you. Um, almost seems like they're playing games. And you might feel like they're playing games with you. But I think it's because they recognize they need to heal. And so they don't want you. They don't want to give any false hope to you at this time. Because they know they're recognizing that they need to heal before they can offer you anything. Um, and then we have the Nine of Wands. Um, the Nine of Wands is about persevering. Just like how I said earlier that they felt exhausted, that they felt like giving up. Um, so even though they felt like giving up, they still see kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel and they still believe that they're going to be successful with you. Okay, let's do one more clarification. We're going to clarify the Seven of Wands. And then I'm going to go ahead and run through getting the thoughts of every sign that could be involved with you, Taurus. Why the Seven of Wands reverse spirit? Oh, I'm not going to take those yet. Why the Seven of Wands in reverse? Spirit, why the Seven of Wands in reverse? Please tell me why the Seven of Wands in reverse. We got one jumper. Six of Swords. Let's get two more. Two more, Spirit. Why the Seven of Wands in reverse? Please tell me more about the Seven of Wands in reverse. The Tower. And Four of Swords. Okay. <clears throat> So we have the Six of Swords, the Tower, and the Four of Swords. So remember, this was asking about the um, future potential. I still feel like this person is depressed, upset, grieving. So this person is still trying to put some distance between you and them. And that is what twin flames do sometimes during the connection. They try to put space between you. And that's what I believe this person is doing with the six of swords here, that they're trying to put some space in between the connection because they know they need to heal um, they need to move on from the past hurt. They want to leave behind the drama. Um, and here we have the tower. 
So this was a major upshift, uh, upheaval. Um, there's a sudden change. I still think it was ending that third party. I, maybe there was a lot of drama involved with ending the third party. Um, if this was not a romantic third party, it could have been family members and there could have just been like a huge ugly fight. Um, and this person just wants to rest again with the four of swords. That's all what this card is saying is they want to rest. They want peace, solitude. So again, I don't see any romantic movement in the next four to six weeks. And that's what this was clarifying was um, future potential. I still believe, it's my belief that twin flames are meant to be together. So I believe that you and this person will be together. Okay, so now I'm going to go through and I'm going to be pulling a message of love from the Oracle deck here for each sign. And hopefully I put them in order this time. So we're going to start with um, Aries. So if your person is an Aries, um, we're going to read a message of love from them to you. Spirit, please, Spirit, please tell Taurus a message from their Aries. If they're dealing with an Aries, Aries to Taurus, please give us a message from Aries to Taurus. So we have the forgiveness card. And this says, forgiveness, forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward. So again, you're going to take this only if it resonates. If it doesn't resonate, then you don't need to take it. Um, Taurus, a Taurus to Taurus. Spirit, please tell us a message from Taurus to Taurus. Spirit, please give Taurus a message from their person that's a Taurus. A message from their person that's a Taurus to Taurus, please. Please give Taurus a message from their person that is a Taurus. Ah, oh, here we go. Fate. Look at this. So much twin flame soulmate confirmation in this reading. This is a destined partnership. So definitely if your person is a Taurus another Taurus. Okay. And then we have Gemini is next. So Taurus, if your person is a Gemini, let's get a message from Gemini. Spirit, please give us a message from Gemini to Taurus. A message from Gemini to Taurus. A message from Gemini to Taurus, please, Spirit. decision. It's time to decide about this relationship. I think this is for you. This is not for your person. Your person's already made a decision. They want you. So Gemini, this is you on you. You need to decide if you want this person, if you want to continue with this connection. Uh, cancer is next. So let's get a message from Cancer to Taurus. A message from Cancer to Taurus, please. Cancer to Taurus. Cancer to Taurus, please. Unplug. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. To me, this is like rest. That rest that that person is saying that they need in this reading that we found. Next, we have Leo. Leo. Spirit, please give us a message from Leo to Taurus. Leo to Taurus, please, Spirit. Give us a message from Leo to Taurus. Message from Leo to Taurus, please. Second chance. This relationship deserves a second chance. Virgo. Virgo to Taurus, please. Spirit, please give us a message from Virgo to Taurus. What's a message from Virgo to Taurus? Spirit, please give us a message 
From Virgo to Taurus. From Virgo to Taurus, please give us a message. Passion. Try something you've never done before. Okay, next up is Libra. Libra. Oh, it jumped out. We're going to go with this one. Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for you. Okay, and then we have Scorpio. Please, Spirit, give us a message from Scorpio to Taurus. Scorpio to Taurus, please. Scorpio to Taurus. Scorpio to Taurus, please. Scorpio to Taurus. New love. A new love or recommitment to love is developing. That's, that's a good card. Okay, next one. Sagittarius. Spirit, please give us a message from Sagittarius to Taurus. There's two, so I'm taking those back. Please give us a message from Sagittarius to Taurus. Sagittarius to Taurus, please. Sagittarius to Taurus. Please give us a message from Sagittarius to Taurus. Abundance. You've done the work. Abundance flows to you now. This is great for if you've been trying to manifest this person. That's what this means to me, is that you've done the work and you're going to get your manifestation. We got two more. Oh, sorry, three more. Capricorn. Capricorn. Spirit, a message from Capricorn to Taurus. Oh! I'm going to put that back in. Okay. Capricorn to Taurus. Spirit, please give me a Okay, this reading is turning too long. So we got time apart for Capricorn. Some distance will help bring clarity. And then we have Aquarius. Spirit, please give us a message. Oh, too many. Give us a message from Aquarius to Taurus. Aquarius to Taurus. A message from Aquarius to Taurus, please. Oh, I'm going to take this one. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. This is very important in Twin Flame Connections, too. And then our last one is Pisces. Pisces to Taurus, please. Spirit, please give us a message from Pisces to Taurus. Pisces to Taurus, please. Give us a message from Pisces to Taurus. Pisces to Taurus. Okay, we have past life love. There's your confirmation again that this is twin flame soulmate connection. Your soul remembers this intense connection. Thank you so much for staying through this reading, Taurus. Please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.